So, uh, I finally got the uh, GLA Pro regulator hooked up here. It's running about two, almost three bubbles a second. And uh, it's been about two weeks here and uh, it seems like it's been, been doing some magic to my tank. Uh, let's take a quick look over here. It's uh, my hospital tank there. And uh, I got some new plants in. And uh, there's the diffuser going crazy. Going right up to the wave maker. Shooting it all the way across the tank to the hang on the back filter. And if you look at the top, it's doing kind of a circular motion and that helps with a little bit of gas exchange so my fish don't die. Um, I got some new plants I'm pretty excited about. I went to Tamed Waters over here, local fish store in St. Paul, and that right there is a A-Flame Purple Sword. I'm not a big fan of the swords, but look at the purple on that. Oh my god. I also got one under the sponge of the filter. If you can see it really up right there it's an a flame and i also purchased some i know i'm gonna butcher this but it's called the uh <laughs> laganandra miboldi red round and i guess it's a super rare plant it's that little tiny green one i got a some tissue cultures from this one right there but i guess they're supposed to be tank busters which i didn't know so they're gonna get pretty crazy got some right there and they're supposed to turn a reddish kind of a pinkish color there's one more right there and uh, I guess those are super super rare plants so pretty excited about that and I also got back there uh, baby leaf bulbitis another rare plant tamed waters oh my goodness what are you doing to me I'm gonna have to get another job just to buy your plants but those are super rare uh, mini bulbitis from the Philippines like me <laughs> and also I said this wrong last time this is actually mini pelia I was saying it's mini pilo but I got that from tamed waters too I got just a little probably a quarter of that and then I'm kind of propagating it up there my little DIY uh, <laughs> moss growing deal but uh, the mini pelia it's pretty rare coral moss so goodness um, I moved some of this uh, the baby tears from there to over here so they're starting to carpet out starting to look pretty nice and I also purchased some Monte Carlos from uh, Phil at Tamed Waters gosh that guy is pretty awesome and uh, trying to get some of that Monte Carlo to carpet out and uh, they're the ARs the Al and Thera Nikki <laughs> can't even say it some back there, some of the ARs, some more right there. A couple squeezed in between the uh, cardinal plants back there. And I also got right there the Crypticorn uh, Wendy or Wendy uh, Red. I also got Crypticorn Wendy Red there too. Um, first Crypt, uh, I've seen pictures and it looks super, super nice. And uh, pretty excited about that. Also, this moss right here, the Rickia flutens, that stuff is just taken off. That's only been in there for a week, and it's already starting to grow. There's some back there creeping through the wood, and it just looks, just looks awesome. <laughs> and um, got some more. Uh, also got some Ludwigia. I think that's the Arcuata. Yeah, that is the Repens back there too. And either that or that's the Liguidia Arcoata or Repens. Got some of that. Believe it or not, most of my plants are from Petco and PetSmart. I know, right? Support your local fish stores. But these guys had a bunch of nice rare tissue cultures. And there's what's left of my attempt at growing the Utricularia uh, granophobia. And the culprit from that is, where is he? right there that little panda cory along with his cory homies digging up that plant so I, I don't think i'll ever get that to grow but pet mark and petco stepping up their game that's anubius nana 
I guess. I don't know. That's what they said, but that's starting to grow like crazy. And that's Anubius Frazili or Frazili or the one with the F. <laughs> I'm not a big Anubius fan, but I had to fill in some spots that were a little bit darker in the tank. And uh, what else do I got here? Oh yeah, the Glossus Stigmas starting to throw some runners up and down there. I was gonna put some Glossus Stigmas there, but I put the red rounds there. Kind of an open spot in the tank. Hopefully they'll take over. Hopefully they don't overshine the, which they will, um, SRs, the Stargen Repins there. And I got some Monte Carlos like I already showed, some Stargen Repins. Sergeant Reppins, Sergeant Reppins, and yeah. So, all in all, the CO2 has just been, I didn't notice it at first, but after a couple weeks, the CO2 is just, it's awesome. I mean, the plants love it. Fish probably not so much, but the plants definitely love it. And I got this idea on top of my tank here. This is the tool mats from Home Depot or Lowe's. 10 bucks for this thing. It's actually twice as big and it actually fit perfectly and it covers my lights here and uh, it's good if you have kids especially. Um, you don't want them staring at those LEDs. It's not very good. And I got three floodlights. That one right there is like 70 bucks for Menards. Uh, I think it's like three thousand lumens or something like that and these are each 20 bucks from an ours each 2,000 lumens I think they're throwing at about 6,000 Kelvin so I think it's medium light and what I'm dosing is uh, these ferts from Cory from Aquarium Co-op I'm dosing uh, easy iron twice a week and I'm dosing easy green from Aquarium Co-op twice a week. And it literally is easy, one pump every 10 gallons, and my plants have no problems with that. I mean, there's very, there's, <laughs> there's no wilt, there's no holes, there's no graying in the leaves. I mean, initially when you put them in, obviously they all have a little bit of melt, but it's just, <sighs> shout out to Corey, man. He, he knows what he's doing all-in-one fertilizers, um, super easy and it works great. So, yeah, here's my tank. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys next time. I'll do another update a couple weeks from now. Hopefully you'll be able to see the difference from the CO2. The CO2 has been in there for about two weeks now, so. All right, see you.